cut some of your hair? Cut my mom. Yes. No, ah! don't tell mommy. She Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, wait a second. Are you doing a dance to celebrate that I'm leaving? I don't want you to leave. Uh -huh. I don't want to leave either. But this time, Callie, it's only for two and a half days, all right? That's so long. It's not long, girl. Yes, what are you going to be doing while I'm gone? Jordan is coming over tomorrow around four. Your bestie or whatever. And I haven't seen him in like one year. I know. <laughs> also, y'all, look at Callie's hair. So Callie is at the age now where she does her own hair. Why? Why? You cut some of your hair? I cut my bangs. Why? Because I wanted to. You cut your own hair? I wanted my bangs to Let be Let me see, shorter. which part did you cut? These two. Oh my gosh. All right guys, do not tell Wait. Keisha. Guys, don't tell. Wow, do not tell Keisha, y'all. Keisha, hold on. Come here. Don't tell mom. Yes. No, don't tell mommy. Don't tell her. Come here, don't tell her, bro. Ah, uh, Camille spoiled it. No. Camille. No. She cut her hair in the front tiny bit. It's not Again? noticeable. Cut her in the front a bit. It's not noticeable. So don't you guys sit back though? Why are you coming in and telling mom? Like, why won't be mad? It's just a tiny bit. Are you mad? She's smiling. Are you mad? <laughs> She's smiling. <Not> mad. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, um, our car is pulling up, so me and Keish gotta go. Camille, you really not gonna say bye to me, bro? I'm, I'm helping with mom something, but I'll say come, bye. No, come give me a hug, bro. I am! Camille, you, are, you got the house while I'm gone? Yes. Are you the man of the house? Yes. Well, actually, Kelvin is the man of the house while I'm not here, but. but I live here. You're second in command. <laughs> Alright? Camille! Yeah! Make sure you answer your phone! Alright, I listen to you. Love you! Love you And I know, guys, Kira's not here for me to say goodbye, but I said goodbye to her this morning. She's at school right now. But someone who really wants to say goodbye. Look at that boy. Come on, boy. Oh my gosh. How long were you outside for? Goodbye, boy. I'll see you in a couple days, all right? I'll see you in a couple days. Kale's in the cut, bro. You got my family while I'm gone? Yeah, bro, you already know. All right, man. <laughs> Not Kale's, I'm Big Kale's. <laughs> I'm Big Kale's the plug. <laughs> All right, guys, we did not vlog our travel day at all, but we just checked in to our hotel, and there is something about landing in New York and checking into your hotel. It's a totally different feeling. <laughs> babe, we, yo, first of all, welcome <laughs> to New York, babe. Welcome back to New York. You know, when's the last time we've been here? It's been a while. It's been more than five, six years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. And I'm not complaining right now, y'all. We're super happy to be here. We're super grateful, but only in New York do you pay an expensive price for a hotel and look you have about two feet on this side of the bed and you got about two feet on this side of the bed and that's it that's this it. this is the bathroom and yeah and this is actually a really nice hotel for new york y'all so this is new york vibes and um yeah we made it babe <laughs> we're gonna have to be side by side this whole time that's how we like it though yeah you know what we actually used to have a, a favorite hotel and it was similar like this but they made it seem like futuristic yeah yotel we used to love that hotel but it was just like this new york is y'all so facts it's like a little reminder like when we used to come to new york we would literally cuddle up in the room and watch tv we didn't get no couch we didn't have no fridge i don't think yeah, yeah it's just <laughs> You go out, you eat, you come back, you chill, go to sleep, and go find things to do outside the hotel. That's right, but yeah. we are not here for exploring and vacation. We're here for um, a business thing, y'all. I actually have um, a speaking engagement tomorrow, and this is my first time ever having a paid speaking engagement, so like, I'm super excited for it. They came for um, moral support. Yeah. She's like, yo, tell them you coming, and I'm like, of course, you coming. Like, we a package what? deal. Tell them you coming? Tell them, tell them coming. I'm coming. Yeah, tell them, tell them you coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, obviously, I, um, we had to roll together. So yeah, babe, we back in New York and um, we just ordered some food because we're hungry. Yes. And we've been flying He's all day. hungry. I'm all right. I could eat, but mm -hmm. as the time went on, he was getting hungrier and hungrier and more hangry. Yeah. Hangrier. I'm not, what? I was hangry today? No, just no. slightly. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> also, babe, how, like we didn't really talk about it. How do you feel about Callie cutting her hair? Like she literally 
cut her own hair. How do you feel about it? I don't know why she would do that, but you know, like I'm starting to accept that my kids are at a certain point where they're gonna do crazy things and they have to live with the consequences of their decisions. Of course, I'm gonna tell her don't do it, but you know, when she wishes that all her hair was going into a ponytail, there's gonna be that one piece that reminds her Maybe you shouldn't have cut me. But. <laughs> Callie's one of those kids though. She's <clears throat> going to do what she wants to do. That's just her. Like she's a great kid and she listens pretty good for her age. But yeah. when it comes to her style in terms of like hair, getting dressed, what she wants to wear, fashion, she's going to do what she wants to do no matter yeah. what. Well, I think I do have chocolate on my nose. I told you you did. You didn't believe me. But you didn't get it off. I told him he had chocolate on his nose. Like... 20 minutes ago. Actually, let's show them why I have chocolate on my nose. So, as we were approaching our hotel, babe, actually, you know what? Not even as we're approaching. As we got to the hotel, babe no. already had, yeah, it was already here. We checked into our hotel. Keisha already had a food delivery waiting for us at the hotel, <laughs> which was pretty cool, I gotta say. Yeah, this is the reason I had chocolate on my nose. We had um, cocoa tea and it's hot I, I chocolate. Wasn't... I don't know why they called it cocoa tea, but yeah. okay. <laughs> it's hot chocolate, and the reason it's on my nose is because the guy who delivered it on the bike. So it got a little bit messy, but it's all good. Yeah. And then we have this right here. You were like going crazy for this. This is really what I placed the order for, y'all. I mm -hmm. keep hearing about this banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. I tried to order it when I saw it, and I'm like, man, you guys don't have any in Miami. So that's the first thing I thought of when we were coming to New York, so. <laughs> Did it live up to the hype though? Mm, it sure did. Look, it's almost done. Yeah, we kind of shared it. It's pretty lit. You tried to act like you didn't like it, but you were sitting there eating it off. All right, y'all. Dinner has arrived. And I guess it's going to be dinner in bed, babe, because we definitely both can't eat right there. So. Only one chair over there. Yeah, so. Turns, though. You know what? This is going to be cute, though. Dinner in bed. Um, I think this is your salmon right here, babe. <sighs> Yay. Thank Let's you. go. We got some Caesar salad. What'd you get, mashed potatoes? Yes, I did. Mashed potatoes. Is that what I, I think that's my steak right Yo, it looks so small in this container, look. <laughs> that's my steak right there, though. What else is that? It's uh, eight ounce. Wow. And then we got Brussels sprouts, let's Ooh. go. So y'all, we're not gonna show you guys us eating, but we'll see y'all in the morning tomorrow, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. Yes, it is. Let's go. Excited for you. All right, T-Squad, it is the next morning. We woke up to a beautiful view. Should I show them the view, babe? Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, look at our view. It actually, I'm not even being sarcastic. It actually is beautiful. But me and Keish always laugh about it. Like, these hotels in New York, the views is always just other buildings. Like, But anyways, y'all, that's not even the point. The point is, Today is the big day, y'all. My my speaking engagement is in like four hours. And before that, me and Bear are about to go have some good food and just uh, mentally prepare. This is my moral support. Let's go, babe. You got my back? If anything I'm gonna be, it's gonna be your support system, okay? And my camera woman. It's the least I could do. Let's get into this lemon bar, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's lit? Mm. It's lit? Okay. I don't know, same old New York just people wanna eat. Like, when I'm here, I just wanna eat. I don't know. All right, the man don't of mind, the hour. Don't mind the dirty clothes, because. We, we don't have anywhere. We got no room. <laughs> I changed my outfit last minute. I was like, you know what? Even though I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and I can literally wear a t-shirt just however I want, it doesn't matter. At the same time, I'm like, let me put my best foot forward. So yeah, I spice it up a little impression. bit. You want to put on a good first impression. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is my fit for the day. And we still relax with the jeans and the sneakers and stuff. No actual holes in the jeans. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I'm excited, babe. I thought I was gonna be nervous, to be honest, but I'm not. I mm. honestly feel so confident. Yeah, this is something I've been wanting to do, so it's like, let's get it. The time is now. Let's go. We do have Trey Rush here and his wife and Keisha as well. These are the media companies of today and the future. That's a wrap, y'all. My babe wrap. killed it. He did such an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, baby. More than anything, this was really informative and like a really good, a good talking segment to have. So, it yeah, was you guys. Yeah, it was definitely a good experience, and I feel like yeah. we could do more of it for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. we're off to dinner. Let's go. A New York dinner. <laughs> Bye.
awesome tiny hotel room. Goodbye, tiny New York. We, we are gonna miss you. We are home from our trip. We just picked up somebody from school. Yes, 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 hold on, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell them. We just picked up somebody from school and she has had Dr. Seuss week. Okay, show us your outfit. She had Dr. Seuss week at all week at school and today they had to dress up in their favorite Dr. Seuss outfit. Where's the thing that said thing one? Well, anyway, her outfit's super cute. She even wore her glitter shoes. And did you guys read Dr. Seuss books at school today? Yeah. Yeah? I always try to make a point to get the kids something every time we leave them for a few days on a trip. Trey is trying to get the girls to sit down and close their eyes. We can give them a little treat that we got them. And the funny thing is, she was crying a second ago and they were like, hold on, we got a treat for you on the trip. And now she's all happy. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Are your eyes closed? <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. Hey, I saw you peeking, Kiki. Open. What is this? <laughs> so it's Hello Kitty Chupa Chups, and there's markers in here. So there's eight markers, seven lollipops, and one Hello Kitty book for you to color. Wow. That's Camaro. Same thing, but his is Snoopy. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're you're welcome. I'm gonna open it right now. Are you gonna see it? Yeah. Okay, let me calm down here. Super cute, right? Wow. Mommy, buy some in said her mommy and her daddy got something for you. Wow. <laughs> so what do you say, bro? Thank you. Are you happy we're home? Don't yeah. eat them all today, okay? And make sure you color in the coloring book, okay? <laughs>